Okay, so today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how we set up our honeycomb frames uh, so that later we can cut our 4x4 squares and package them to sell them. So what we'll do is we'll have uh, 5 and 5 8 uh, honeycomb supers with 5 and 3 8 uh, honeycomb frames. And this is a last year's frame. And I'm going to show you how I put a new sheet of wax in here to get this ready. So all I need is my hive tool. And I'm just going to clean out this slot. You gotta get the corners real good so the new sheet of wax can slide in and they're super fragile so it's really important to get these corners nice and clear. Okay, so that's the bottom slot. Just open that up. I'm gonna do the same thing on that top from last year. That has all been filled with wax. So just gotta scrape that out real quick. Okay, so all I did was just clear out that slot. Now it's time just to take one of our wax sheets and you can get these in any bee supply store. Just gonna slide this in from the bottom. Now getting it into the stop groove is really tricky, so a lot of times what we'll, what I'll do is uh, take wax and just melt it and just run yourself some uh, a bead of, bead of wax along this edge to kind of secure this. But this one's pretty well cleared out that should just slide right in. I do is I just fold that over and just cut it off with my hive tool. And that's it, and that's ready to go in the hive. So next, I want to go over really quickly on how we set these up in our beehives to get the best quality honeycomb that you can possibly get. And now there's one main difference from doing these frames from your regular honey super frames. And that difference is you have to shorten the amount of times that these frames are inside your beehive. And the reason we do that is once your bees are gonna start pulling this honeycomb out and they're gonna start capping that with those white wax uh, cappings, the longer those cappings are in there and the bees are crawling over them, those white wax cappings are gonna start turning yellow because of all the pollen on the, on the feet from the bees. Now there's nothing wrong with that other than the fact that um, now you're really nice white honeycomb that looks really nice and presentable is now a little bit discolored and it looks yellow and that might drive some customers away plus um, once that wax ca uh, capping starts to turn yellow because of all that pollen you can actually start to taste a, a small difference in that you can taste a little bit more bitter because of all that extra pollen on top so the goal is to shorten the amount of time and to get the bees to pull out the honeycomb, cap it, and get these things out and cut as soon as you can. So here's how we accomplish that. 
like I'll have a regular beehive, beehive set up with a honey super on top and we'll let that beehive build up and get really strong you know about 18 frames of bees or so and then we'll take our honey super take that off we'll shake all the two, all the bees down to two uh, two brood chambers throw our queen excluder back on and only then we're gonna put these honeycomb shallow supers on there we're never gonna combine this honeycomb super with a regular honey super just to shorten that time that it takes the bees to pull this uh, honeycomb out and cap it and then also we're gonna just keep a close eye on these frames and as soon as they're capped we're gonna take these out um, the less amount of time that they can spend in your hive the better so I'm just gonna open this hive right there up I have one of these shallow uh, the 5 and 5 8 honey supers on there so I'm just gonna pop that lid open and I'm gonna show you what it looks like these have been in there for probably about uh, four four or five days So you can see here that they've already started drawing some of that comb out and started to bring just a tiny bit of honey in there. So it doesn't take long if you do it right. And the two main things is you can't have another honey super on top and you gotta have a strong beehive, at least, I would say at least 18 frames of bees in there. That way you can get a nice quality honeycomb that you can later package and sell to your customers and that's it and i'm going to update you on another video once these are done and i can show you how we cut them and package them